welcome to another video on on yari hearts books and today's video i'm gonna be talking about what i'm was planning on reading in may i'm gonna talk about a little bit of what i read in may and what i was planning on reading in may basically this is my reading plan for the next couple of months pretty much until the end of summer so i'm gonna focus on may june july and august Yes, so those four months, one planning reading those four months, and yeah, so let's just hop right into it. So first I'm gonna start off with Mays, which I kind of have like set monthly TBRs, but if I don't end up finishing a book or two in that one month, it's fine if it carries over to the next month, as long as I try and finish these books by the end of August. So it's fine it's fine so the first book which i've already read i've read in may realm breaker by victoria aviard this is the first book in the realm breakers trilogy like i said i've already read this i have an entire reading vlog it's a bit of a long one it's like 54 minutes long i'm currently exporting it so i'm gonna link it up here so you can check that out yeah so if you want all my thoughts and feelings on this book check out that vlog um, so basically a little bit of a synopsis about what this book is about it's it's about this group of people so basically i'm just gonna do the pitch um so what happens when the chosen one the chosen ones the a team fail die and then now so now the second string has come has to step up and save the world so yeah so that's the premise of this i'll read the back because that's like the best way to like describe a little bit of like but this book is about what so it says a squire the survivor of a failed quest an immortal timeless and unfeminable an assassin skilled and heartless an old sorceress holding secrets behind her teeth and a pirate's daughter the ward's last hope the heroes are gone but the fight to save the world has only just begun so yes again if you want to hear my thoughts and feelings about this check out my vlog um so okay so um, the next book I started in May, haven't finished yet, is Love Your Life by Sophie Kinsella. This is one of her standalone novels. It's the one that came out the most recent, so it came out last year. So basically, in this book, we follow two characters, Ava and Matt. They have other names, so that's why I don't think about it. So we're following Ava and Matt, and Ava goes to a writing retreat so she can focus on her writing, where she meets matt but she meets him as as dutch because at this writing retreat so they could really focus on their writing they don't share any personal details with each other with other people on this retreat even including their real names so man and ava form this romance as aria and dutch in italy at this writing retreat and then pretty much crap hits the fan once they end up back in the real world back in their lives as Ava and Matt and they start to realize that there's a lot about each other that, that they did not know and that they're not vibing with so that's pretty much what the book is about I'm enjoying it so far Ava got a little bit annoying at one point but it's all right I'm enjoying it so far so if you can sell the books are always just a fun read and I decided to pick this up right after Realm Breaker because I thought I knew I was gonna need like a nice palette cleanser after a, like a really dense fantasy. So yes, loving this. Um, okay, the next book I'm planning on reading is A Rebirth of the Gates by Sabatier. This is the third book in the Ember and the Ashes series. So basically, since this is the third book in the series, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about what an ember in the ashes is which is the first book in this series so and an ember in the ashes we follow laya who um right in the beginning of the book things happen and she's put in this situation where she has to run away and try to escape these um i forgot what they're called but um these masks who are the bad guys so she runs away and tries to escape these people and and then one thing leads to another and her brother ends up being arrested so she wants to break him out of prison 
but it's a really like high security security prison so she um, finds this group and they help her get into the into the school what's it called I'm doing so bad at this I forgot the name of the school but she gets into the school um, as a slave to like the head like the head of the school so she's her slave so she has to get information for the rebels and um then in turn they help her well they're supposed to help her break her brother out of prison and then we also follow elias who is a mask but he doesn't want to be so he's struggling with trying to escape and all of that so yes yeah, so there's a lot that goes on in this series um i enjoyed the first book i liked i think i like the, se the second book a little bit more a lot of things happened uh, a lot of things were um uh, revealed i feel okay. um things were left up in the air in book two and i'm very interested to see um how the story is going to continue and what's going to happen at a reaper at the gates and yep and to continue on with that i'm also planning on reading a sky beyond the storm by Sabotier, here which is the fourth and final book in the ember and the ashes quartet and yeah so i'm excited to continue on with this series and to finish it and to finish it off and see how the story ends oh now let's talk about because it's pride month i'm my friend carleni recommended that i read you should see me in the crown in a crown um, so you see me in a crown by Leah Johnson. I have that on my Kindle, so I'm gonna be reading that at some point in June. <laughs> um, I was going to read it during Chloe, Kevin, Caitlin, and Jamie's 24-hour readathon when they were reading Pride books, but then I ended up having to work that weekend. Sad. So I couldn't participate. So I'm gonna read it sometime in this month, June. <laughs> um, so basically when you see me in a crown what it's the gist of what it's about it Liz Liz Lightly she really wants to get into the school but the only way she, she but the only way she can go to the school is if she gets a scholarship so the um her first way to get the scholarship ends up not working out so then she has to come up with a backup plan and it turns out I think if it's if you become I don't know if it's homecoming queen or prom queen one of those two things you earn a full ride to this university so she decides to run for whatever it is <laughs> i can't remember if it's for prom or for homecoming so she's running for that and also somebody else is running for that and she becomes i think it's like a romance between between those two so yeah my friend said that she thinks i'll really like it so i decided to pick that up Let's continue on contemporary. Another book I want to read is Majesty by Catherine McGee. This is the second, I believe, final book in the American Royals. I think it's a duology. So it's the second book. And it follows up pretty much, I think, right when where American Royals sleeps off. So basically the gist of American Royals is what if George Washington, instead of being offered the presidency, he was offered a crown and this follows his descendants like years down in the future and basically beatrice is being prepped to be the first queen yeah basically she's being prepped to be queen this series there's so much drama it's i feel like it, it reads like a reality tv show so if you like that kind of story um you'll probably like the series because there's a lot of drama Especially because there's like teenagers and yeah in the whatever yeah you get it um so yeah i'm excited to finish this off um because i did really enjoy the first book and a lot of things happened in the first book and i want to know how things pan out in this so yes <gasps> okay the next books i'm planning on reading the next three months so june july august is the first three books in the red queen quartet so this is gonna be a reread i decided it would be fun i started starting last year i decided it would be fun if i reread read some of my favorite series each summer because summer is my least favorite season i don't like summer so to help me pat 
ha have the time pass by like a little bit better and have more fun during the summer i decided um last year i reread the lunar chronicles and i annotated them it was so much fun i have vlogs for each and every book in the lunar chronicles and it's spoiler spoiler filled reading vlogs so i'll link them down below because Oh, I'll put the, the card for Cinder. Cinder's in two parts um, up here, so you can check that out if you want to check that out. And yes, I'll make a playlist as well of all of those videos, so you can check those out. Um, so yeah, so I'm hoping, yes, yeah, so I'm hoping the next three months to read Red Queen, Glass Sword, and King's Cage and annotate them. I kind of a little bit annotated King's Cage with these post-its, but I didn't like, go full out pull out um annotating so i'm excited to like reread these and now that red queen is becoming a tv a tv series i'm even more excited to reread these because i haven't read them reread them the only time i read them was when i first read them so i'm excited to, to um hop back into this world and annotate these books so yes i think oh no that's not it I'm also planning in June doing because Chris, Christmas is my favorite holiday. Um, so, so you probably are like, why she's talking about Christmas? <laughs> so I'm planning on doing a week um, Christmas in July. So I'm going to be reading Christmas books for that one week and watching Christmas, Christmas movies. Don't like, <laughs> don't come at me like let me do what i want to do let me do what makes me happy and i feel like i'm gonna have so much fun especially because a lot of times during december i don't get to like all the different christmas books that i want to get to and i end up reading all of them and then yeah so it's become whatever so i'm like yes christmas july sounds so much fun I'm gonna read some christmas books and watch some christmas movies a little bit before the actual christmas season and like so I'm planning that. I'm also planning in August doing a Disney week. So basically I'm going to be reading Disney books. <laughs> so I'm going to be mainly focusing on um, the Twisted Tale series. So yeah, I have three. I own three at the moment that I haven't read yet. So I'm going to try and read as many as those that I can and maybe find some other like Disney books and Add that to my reading list for that week i'm super excited for that i think it's gonna be so much fun and yeah i think that it's it now so i probably won't do a tbr for um christmas in july or disney week but i'll talk about in the beginning of, of those reading vlogs what i'm gonna be reading for those weeks i'm super excited for both, both <laughs> i'm excited for both christmas in july and Disney week I think it's gonna be so much fun and yes so that's pretty much everything that I'm planning on reading the next few months please let me know down below what you are planning on reading this summer and yeah yes let's keep my foot to sleep let's um, have our fingers crossed so that I, I can actually read all of these um, and I'm gonna put these down now course i could finish all of those and everything else that i'm planning on reading this summer um so yes if you guys like this video please give it a like so i can know what kind of video should post on here and like always all of my social media links will be linked down below in the description box you can follow me on those platforms and i'll catch you guys here next time oh if you want to subscribe please subscribe <laughs> to become a member of our little family here on yaddy hearts Books, and I'll catch you guys here next time. Bye!